Hello my scholars, this is my school YouTube channel and my name is Frank. In this video, we are going to be learning about a force that is both good and bad, often referred to as the force of opposition. I'm talking about friction. So relax, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about friction. So before we start the lesson properly, let's move to the next slide to quickly run through the objective of today's lesson. So objective number one, at the end of this lesson, scholars should be able to identify a force resisting the motion between two surfaces in contact and moving relative to each other. Two, identify and explain the types of frictional force Three, state the advantages and disadvantages of friction. Four, state the laws of solid friction. Five, measure methods of reducing friction. And uh, six, define and derive the banking angle. So let's move to the next slide. Let's begin with our lesson. So we are going to begin with the definition of friction. So what do we mean by friction or frictional force? So by frictional force, or we can define frictional force as the force that opposes the relative motion between any two surfaces in contact. Okay, so friction can be solid or fluid friction. Uh, fluid friction is also known as, or is also called viscosity. Okay, when we say fluid friction, we simply mean that the friction is between fluid and a solid object okay when we say solid friction we mean that the friction is between two solid objects so friction comes into play whenever there is motion or there is tendency for something to move okay but friction is absent where there is no motion or where there is no force intending to cause motion okay so friction plays a significant role in activities such as walking driving playing sport etc so let's move to the next slide to see the types of friction so we have two types of frictional force namely static friction dynamic or kinetic friction okay so let's begin with static friction static friction is also known as rigid friction okay so this is the frictional force that exists between two bodies that are relatively at rest okay and preventing the motion of one surface over the other okay so example of this type of force are a book sitting on a table a lamp stand resting on a table and a ladder leaning against a wall so let's talk about the second type of friction which is known as dynamic or kinetic friction so this is the type of friction that exists between two objects that are in relative motion to each other. An example of such frictions are the feet against the ground when walking, the wheel of a bicycle against the ground, the friction between an airplane and the air, ATC. Okay, it should be noted here that kinetic friction is less than static friction. Okay, let's take for example, to start a car or to move a car, let's say, a car refused to start right and the owner calls some persons to help push that car okay the force required to push that car is more than the force required to keep pushing that car once that car started moving okay so kinetic friction is less than static friction i don't know if you get the explanation i said kinetic friction is less than static friction so what i'm saying in essence is that static friction is greater than kinetic friction because the force required to start a car to rest is greater than the force required to keep the car moving okay once the car starts going okay so that is what this statement here means so let's move to the next slide to talk about the advantages of friction of course before i started in introduction i said we are going to be talking about a force that is both good and bad so we want to talk about the good side of friction which is known as the advantage of friction okay so number one is that friction makes walking and running possible okay without 
friction when we walk or run our feet will slip backward okay number two is that it enable gripping of bed in machines possible if you are conversing with that machine used for grinding uh, tomatoes in the market okay you will really understand this number two it enables gripping of beds in machine possible so number three is that it enables knee to stay in the wall when driven okay the reason why when you uh, put a knee through the wall and the knee remains there is because of friction between the knee and the wall okay number four is that we can write on a paper or on a board due to friction why number five is that um, friction enables car to stop when brake are applied because of the friction between the wheel of the car and the brake pad okay number six friction enables human to use mouse in surfing the web okay so if you are conversant with using the mouse you will understand what number six is talking about okay so let's move to the next slide to see the disadvantages of friction okay so anything that has an advantage also have disadvantage so at this point we'll be talking about the disadvantages of friction one of them is that it causes wear and tear take for example the sole of your shoe that you'll be using for some time now if you look at it now it's not the same as when you bought it newly okay the reason for that is because of the friction between the sole of that your shoe and the ground so after some time the shoe will begin to wear okay and it is because of friction even in some cases the shoe may even tear into two so number two it reduces the efficiency of the machine friction reduces the efficiency of the machine because some of the energy provided or produced by the machines are lost as heat okay so this will in turn reduce the efficiency of the machine so number three is that it causes a lot of energy to be consumed by the machine okay so in order for the machine to work properly okay the uh, machine have to overcome the friction between the moving part of that machine thus causing a lot of energy to be consumed okay why number four it causes lots of resources of course in this case we are talking about the bad side of friction so in order to reduce friction you have to spend money in buying lubricants right so that money that you spend in buying lubricant you should have used it or you could have used it to you no know, you could have used it for other purposes so in that way friction causes loss of resources okay why number five is that forest fires are caused due to friction between branches of tree okay but take note this is not all to the disadvantage and advantage of friction okay so let's move to the next slide so on the next slide we are going to be talking about method of reducing friction okay method of reducing friction and the first method we have on the screen is lubrication okay so in lubrication this involves the use of certain substances called lubricants to reduce the effects of friction okay and the example of lubricants include grease we can use grease to reduce friction we can use oil we can use uh, graphite we can use air okay but take note that many of these uh, lubricants are petroleum products right then number two we have what we call streamlining we have what we call streamlining so streamlining simply involves shaping an object in such a way that when the object is moving against the direction of the weed or liquid the surface in contact is minimal okay that is the reason why ships aircraft and submarine are made or designed after that of fish okay they look like uh, the shape of a fish okay and a good example is your your bullet train okay your bullet train your bullet train look like a fish okay that shape even your cars they are all streamlined and the essence is because they want to reduce okay uh, the the surface of your car's contact okay with air okay so number three we have use of rollers and ball bearing okay so this fine application most ap application for example use of rollers fine application in your traveling in your transporting luggage okay your transporting luggage have rollers okay and these rollers uh, makes it easier for you to move your uh, your transporting luggage from one point to another with minimum with minimal friction okay and the reason for that is because rolling friction is less than sliding friction then we also have the ball bearing okay the ball bearing also finds application in 
bicycle but not limited to bicycle alone so this involves the use of rollers ball bearing wheels to reduce the surface area in contact between two surfaces then number four we have the use of bed and chain drive this can also be used to prevent two surfaces in contact okay think of your cassava grinding engine or your tomatoes grinding engine right um, the part that actually grinds your tomatoes is actually connected with a bed okay to the machine that causes the shaft of the grinder to rotate okay without both shaft not being in contact okay why number five we have smoothing and polishing okay smooth surface actually means less friction so this reduces projection on the surface thus reducing friction then the last but not the least we have what we call banking of course this banking we are going to be talking more about it in subsequent slide okay so this method is used to reduce or is used in reducing sideways friction so let's move to the next slide okay so here we are going to be looking at the laws of solid friction okay the loss of solid friction so let's begin with number one one it always opposes motion no i said earlier on that uh, friction is also known as force of opposition so whenever there's movement friction comes into play so one of the laws of solid friction is that it always opposes motion then number two it depends on the nature of the surface in contact okay it depends on the nature of surface in contact meaning when two smooth surfaces are in contact the friction between them is less okay than when two uh, when the two surfaces are rough okay friction between rough surface is greater than the frictional force between smooth surface okay for example if you rub your palms together okay after some time it will generate heat okay but if you put on um, all this nylon and glove and rub your hands together the heat will not be produced the reason is because the two surfaces are smooth right thus there is reduction in friction between the two surfaces then number three it does not depend on the relative speed between the two surfaces so provided there is movement at all okay friction will come into play whether the two surfaces are moving relative to one another or one of them is moving there is definitely going to be friction and whether the speed of movement is fast or slow provided there is movement at all friction will come into play so friction does not depend on the related speed between the two surfaces so number four it does not depend on the area of the surface in contact whether the two surfaces are perfectly aligned or they just slightly touch one another as far there is movement friction will come into play okay so friction does not depend on the area of the surface in contact number five it is directly proportional to the normal reaction okay frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction so the normal reaction is the perpendicular force between the two surfaces in contact okay so mathematically here we are indicating that frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction so we need to introduce our constant here in this case which is our coefficient of friction so that f is equals to of course this symbol is referred to as mu okay which is the coefficient of friction so f is equals to mu arrow right where f stands for the frictional force arrow stands for the normal reaction which is always acting perpendicular okay to the horizontal surface why mu stands for the coefficient of static friction so this is the end of our preview for this video uh, if you want the full content you should click on the link in the description below and this will take you to my school website there you have to subscribe to enjoy the full video so in the in the full video we talked about coefficient of friction in proper and we also apply them in solving problems about four problems which are taken from a standard examination such as wayek neko and jam okay now in the complete video we also talked about the angle of banking 
okay, the angle of banking. There too, we derived the formula. We derived the formula for calculating the angle of banking and we also solved examples. So kindly subscribe now. I hope to see you there. So I believe you enjoyed this part of the video we've shown to you. If yes, please do not forget to click the like button, hit on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next video.